Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be making a box and it's going to have 24 gifts. Now I'm going to be sending this to my pen pal Christian Lee so if you're watching this turn it off now so you don't get any spoilers and basically I'm going to be showing you different ways of wrapping, different stationery that you can send out um, and yeah just have fun with a lot of different art ideas. So Merry Craftmas and let's get on with the video. So, the first thing I actually wanted to do in this video was create my own wrapping paper. And I thought this would be super fun because we're coming up to Christmas and you can use this all year round. So, I've used colours that are not specifically relating to Christmas. Um, and these ganache paints are just absolutely gorgeous. They make the most vibrant colours. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be scraping paint. So this is a technique that lots of people can do. You don't need to have a talent for this. You just need to experiment. So what I've done is I've grabbed some colors that I thought would work well together and I've basically put lines and dots of paint on a large piece of um, wrapping paper. Now this is actually just plain white paper that I got from Ikea. Um, so yeah, Ikea is a great place to find large rolls of paper and they're really, really cheap as well. So what I've done is I've got all my paint on the paper and then I'm just going to grab a little piece of cardboard that I've cut up. So you want to have it so you can hold it so the paint doesn't actually get on your fingers. And then you'll hold it at the top of one of these little clumps of paint and then you'll just scrape it down. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's the actual term. I've seen people do this on Instagram and I really, really wanted to try it. And I had a lot of fun with it. So this is actually the first time of me trying this technique. So I'm not the best. You can find lots of different tutorials on Instagram. Um, but like I said, I'm not sure if paint scraping is the actual term for this. Um, yeah, this art. What do you call it? Art work <laughs> I don't know um, it's currently 8 44 p.m. at night time so I'm I apologize in advance if I can't speak very well because I've had a long day um, but I'm doing the best I can for this voiceover um, so late at night so I'm definitely going to go straight to bed after this one um, but yeah look at all the pretty colors so I did a lot more experimenting the second time I tried this I actually tried it with Christmas colors so I thought I'll pick reds and greens and see how it goes I did a lot of paint scraping for this one and um, yeah, I thought the first one and the last one that I'm going to show you turned out the best. I actually added a glitter paint into this one and the glitter paint actually didn't even go on the page when I scraped it. Um, it left these like white patches so I had to then take all the glitter paint off. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really fun art project to do to make your own wrap wrapping paper and I think this is probably one of the easiest ways to do it like I've seen people do a lot of um, printing onto wrapping paper like you make your own stamps and things but this one you don't really need any skill you just need three elements really just the paint the paper and then um, the cardboard to scrape and I did this three times and I'm definitely going to do this again I actually wouldn't mind doing this for all of my Christmas presents I think it'd be so fun to have these vibrant colors under the Christmas tree and I'm gonna actually show you what they look like when they're all wrapped up in a second um, well actually later on in the video not in a second because I'm going to make pom-poms next <laughs> um, because I thought pom-poms would be perfect with these colors but yeah as you can see I'm just scraping away and I'm having a lot of fun with it so please tag me on Instagram or on any of your social platforms if you do this yourself because I'd love to see how they turn out. Now as I said the next decoration that I'm going to be putting in my 24 days pen pal box um, are pom-poms and again I was just experimenting with this I haven't actually made pom-poms for oh, it's been a really long time I think the last time I made it I must have been in primary school maybe yeah, I think it's been a while, really. I actually remember making pom-poms, I'm pretty sure, as a Christmas, um, as a Christmas 
like for Christmas decorations one year but as you can see here I've not done the typical donut circle that you usually do with pom-poms I actually wanted to do something a bit different because I thought this would be easier to wrap the wool around um, but I actually messed this up so I'm not going to tell you the tutorial of how to make this one but basically you can see it's kind of like a C shape with the cardboard and then I'm wrapping it around and around and the reason why you do the C shape is because you're supposed to at the end get to the wool and wrap it in the hole at the end where you've cut it. Does that make sense? Am I making sense tonight? Um, you'll see what I'm doing. So. I'm finding that little hole because I couldn't just cut two bits of cardboard. There has to be that secure bit at the back um, so it actually holds together. But you can see that I'm basically tying it around through the middle. And then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to cut once you've tied it in the middle on both sides. But what I did was I accidentally mess this up so much that I cut one side and then it ended up looking like a very floppy pom-pom <laughs> so I didn't want to include this pom-pom in the 24 days um, box as wrapping decorations because it kind of flopped <laughs> in all senses <laughs> so at least I'm trying but I really like the idea of doing lots of different colors so I'm going to keep experimenting with pom-poms and hopefully by the end of Craftmas, my entire Craftmas tree will just be filled with these colourful pom-poms. So I thought that would be really fun. But see, as you can see here, I've cut one side. I was supposed to cut the other side, but because I didn't tie it properly in the middle, it didn't really work very well. So tag me on Instagram if you can do any better. And also another thing is the more you wrap around the thicker your pom-pom will get. Um, so as you can see here, again, mine's very floppy. <laughs> so I just chucked it on the Craftmas tree. The next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to do the traditional pom-pom with the two donuts. So you cut basically two donuts out of the cardboard. And what you'll be doing is you'll just wrap the wool around, but you actually have to wrap the wool through the holes that you made inside the cardboard so you put both the cardboards together and then you just wrap it through the hole um, but this can become really really frustrating because the the thick you want to get it really thick so this one I kind of gave up really quickly because I kept getting knots every time I wrapped it through it kept knotting up so I spent an hour <laughs> making this pom-pom um, and yeah I just sort of gave up on it and just did a half ass one <laughs> so as you can see here I'm tying the string because again I just wanted to hang this one to the tree and then what you do is you put your scissors in between and you cut it through the two um, donut cardboard bits and then you just tie it in the middle and then it will create a really cute small pom-pom now this is actually the best way to create really nice circular pom-poms so if you have the time and effort, this, in my opinion, is, will give you that really nice circular shape. Um, and yeah, I'm actually going to show you another technique that's just super quick and easy. But again, I trimmed it down so it looked even prettier. And then I popped it on my Craftmas tree. And yeah, I thought it looked quite nice. But I wanted to see if I could do some better ones. And smaller ones because I wanted a few different smaller ones for um, the decorations to put on the packages because do you know how a lot of people put nice bows on like wrapping paper and things to um, like gift I wanted to do pom-poms because my wrapping paper is quite colorful so in the next pom-pom that I tried I actually just wrapped it around my fingers and my sister told me this technique and oh my goodness it is the easiest one and again, the thicker you do it, the nicer the pom-pom will look because it will have more string in the pom-pom. So the actual pom-pom will be nice and full. How many times have I said pom-pom in this video so far? So you just tie it in the middle again. And then where your fingers were, where you're wrapping it around, you're actually just going to cut on both sides. So throughout this whole video, it's the same technique. It's just different ways of doing it. So it's just tying in the middle and cutting on both sides. So I cut on both sides and it actually turned out not too bad. So I think I'm going to just do the finger technique 
um, where you're just wrapping it around your hand and yeah I'm just going to continue doing that so I'm going to make a whole bunch of them in lots of different colours and then I'm just going to bundle them together and pop them on the top of my wrapping paper with some double sided tape. So I got some really vibrant colours which um, I love and I got them from Kmart I'm pretty sure and each um, each bundle of wool was about four dollars so yeah I think I paid about yeah 30 bucks for the whole lot of wool. So I'm going to be putting all of my gifts inside of this tin, it's the Christmas tin. Um, like I said in my gift guide you can get tins from op shops really cheap so this one was 50 cents and yeah there was a bunch of tins so if you want to find your own tin for your pen pal 24 days of Christmas um, I highly remember recommend you going to the op shops. Now because my wrapping paper is still drying, the one that I painted, I'm going to start with wrapping with the Kiki K Paper Lovers books and each Christmas they usually release a Christmas one so um, there's going to be lots of sales coming up. I know there was a Black Friday sale um, and then they, I think they'll also have sales after Christmas and get rid of all their Christmas stock. So I usually like buying Christmas stock after Christmas um, because it's cheaper. So yeah, I'll go on Boxing Day or something to get all of the, the cheap Christmas stock for next year. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I just wrapped this one as per usual with a bow. Um, and then I'm just going to decorate it with the little decorations from the Kiki K paper lovers book so just a little sticker so I can write my which day it is and then also a little reindeer so every single package that I'll be gifting I need to write a day so that the person can go through the box and find which day that they want to open so I just randomly selected days I wanted to make sure all the big ticketed items weren't one day after the other I wanted to make sure there are about five days in between so that's why I started off with number five. So the next couple of presents are just going to be me wrapping and just showing you different ways to, yeah, make your packages pretty. So I'm going to actually put some music for the rest of this video. I think there's nothing too much more that I wanted to say because I'll just be doing a bunch of wrapping. I'll show you at the end how I wrapped with the wrapping paper that I made and I'll show you how I'm wrapping with the pom-poms and then also I'll show you how to do some more flat mail packages. So I've got a bunch of um, different packaging that I found from Daiso. Um, so yeah, I'll be showing you how I'm putting everything together as well. So enjoy the rest of the video, please tag me anywhere if you use these ideas and remember this doesn't have to be for Christmas so um, you could do like a 10 day box where the whole idea of this is you're just giving someone something to open every single day for a certain period of time so this could be leaving up to an anniversary or a birthday, um, it can definitely be for Christmas, you can gift it around New Year's as well if you wanted to gift someone um, like self care things for January it's always a nice time to receive things that you can reflect back on on your last year so calendars and journals and things like that and it's just really fun to have something that you can open up um, for a certain period of time like an advent calendar and then just don't forget to write all your days on and then just make sure that you um, yeah, just even out the smaller gifts to the larger gifts. I think I packaged about five or six larger gifts and then everything else was just quite small. So I've packaged my own postcards that I made that's in my shop at the moment. Um, I gifted a lot of my stickers that were in my shop and then I've picked out a few larger items. So I actually gifted a Kiki K sticker book. So there's a really beautiful book that you'll see me wrapping in a second and things like washi tape samples. So I'll be showing you lots of different ideas throughout this video. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really happy with the outcome. I've also included some 
cute little stars in the box and things like that so that it um, it just looks pretty when you open it and instead of doing bubble wrap I actually did tinsel and rainbow tinsel because I wanted the box to be really colorful and bright so as I said I'm gonna play some music for the rest of this video enjoy and let me know in the comments what your favorite idea is and if you're actually going to um, create your own 24 days or 10 days or just a box of goodies that can be a countdown to something so thanks for watching this video and enjoy the rest i'll see you guys in the next crafters video <laughs>